Hi folks, welcome to Airwall Teams. I wanted to do a quick video to show you how to get started using Tempered's free product called Airwall Teams. Uh, so if you go to tempered.io, to the upper right hand side, there's an Airwall Teams login. From that login, you can go ahead and, if, if you don't have an account yet, you can go ahead and sign up for an account. So next, it takes you into getting started with Airwall Teams. And so at this point, I'm on a Mac, and I could download the agent and install it. I already have downloaded the agent and uh, installed it because I've used it for other uh, profiles. But um, so assuming you'd go through and install that, if you were on a different system, you can choose, you know, it should auto detect, but it can choose which system you want to download it onto. And then once you've installed the agent, um, you can just click this activate button. So we'll click activate. And it's going to ask you, you know, what do you want to open up? And it's going to be the air wall. So we'll say open link. And um, go ahead and enter your password. You do need to be an administrator to, uh, to do this. All right. Next, uh, we see that it's activated our profile. So we can go ahead and click OK. And then we can go down and click this look around button to take a look at the Airwall Teams environment. So it asks you if you want to expand your network. Usually you'll want to add a second device right away. So what is it you want to connect to securely from this system? So we'll want to, uh, we'll definitely want to do that. Um, first I'm going to cancel that and actually see that uh, so it's named my device Teams device. That was because of the email I entered. I'm going to go ahead and, and edit that. And uh, I'm going to make that Rick's MacBook and save changes. That way I know what device I'm working with. All right, so so far I just got one device here. There's nothing to connect it to yet. So now, um, now, notice you could expand your network by, you know, sending an email to a friend. They would create an account. Like, let's say you want to connect to a, a relative's computer to help them troubleshoot something. You could send an email to them. They would log in, create an account, and then, uh, and then uh, you would see their device show up here, and then you could give yourself connectivity to that device. We're going to do the second one. We're going to add a device to our own network. So we're going to log in as ourselves on a second device that we later want to connect to remotely from. So uh, obviously we can get to it now without um, Airwall Teams. So I'm actually going to go in to, um, I'm going to use VNC Viewer, you know, or Team Viewer, a number of other options. Obviously these are SaaS-based services that aren't necessarily secure. You're kind of trusting that these cloud places have access to your environment versus Airwall Teams, it's an encrypted tunnel end to end. So we're never seeing your data, we're never decrypting it and uh, passing it along, um, and we don't have access to your environment. So now I'm on this second system, it's a Windows box, and uh, I can go to Airwall Teams login, and now I want to log in with that same login that we just created. So. login. And so I see I have access to this same uh, environment. Um, and uh, you can see now I want to expand my network. So I'm going to click expand my network. I want to add a device. And I, you know, you could choose which platform it is, or it can automatically detect. I'm just going to leave it as um, not sure. I'll show you how we detect it. And uh, we'll click add. Now this part's a little bit tricky. You know, it says log in to Airwall Teams on Rick's Windows PC. Now I've already logged in to Airwall Teams on Rick's Windows PC. And there's a little activate button here. This isn't necessarily the one you want to click. You want to click this one over here. So we'll just click OK there. Um, and I've already installed Airwall Team, Air, an Airwall agent on this computer. So uh, I could go ahead and click this and install it, go through the installer. You need to be administrator. But um, I've already done that on this computer, just to save time. And now I'm just going to click Activate. So again, it's saying Open Tempered Net Tray. That may sound a little weird, but we actually run the agent down in the system tray. So um, 
I'm going to go ahead and cl click yes, open tempered tray. And uh, I'll just wait a little bit. I can kind of see behind the scenes here, it says pending activation. And uh, it says here, airwall may take up to two minutes to complete activation. So we'll just be patient here and, and wait a little bit. So now once I have two devices, they're both in airwall's teams, airwall teams, um, but I haven't given them connectivity to each other yet. So you'll specifically do that. And, uh, and that's one of the benefits of airwall teams is you can control when you can access other things or other things can access your computer. So um, I did see that pop up. So it looks like it's, uh, Looks like it's done. There we go. The user has been activated. This user has been activated. Step three done. Look around. So I'll click on look around and uh, I can close this little expansion area. All right. So now I've got two devices. I can kind of organize them in the window how I want them to look, but I still can't, uh, you know, from my Mac, I can't get to my Windows PC um, using Airwall Teams yet. So um, to, to get them connected, you simply click on this little edit pencil icon right here, and, and then just click on one device and drag it over to the other. You see a little green circle show up, let go of the mouse, and now they're connected. So now from my, now here's the important thing. The IP address that we've given to this Windows PC is shown over here, 10.27.132.2. That's an overlay IP address we don't really care what its existing address is on your on your network, but that's the one you can use to connect to. So we don't could be anywhere in the world. Um, we're going to allow you to connect to it. So now to show that, I'm just going to open a terminal window here, and again I'm on my Mac, and I'm going to just see if I can get to 10.27.132.2. And there we go. We've got a tunnel set up, and uh, so at this point, I could I would no longer need VNC viewer, and I can directly access that computer. I could take this computer, go to another location, and uh, still connect to that. As long as they can get outbound to the internet, um, you can connect these two things. So hopefully that's been helpful. A uh, little demonstration of kind of how to get started with two devices with Airwall Teams. Have a good day.